Turn your weaknesses to strengths and strengthen your strengths is a motto that I've lived by for the past five years when I first decided I'm going to dedicate myself completely to learning the art of nine ball of course my motto on my channel is precision accuracy consistency and control these are things that i've really tried to ingrain in my game now my game is not perfect it does have some flaws but the one thing that i've always believed in and that is training a trained mind becomes a consistent mind a consistent mind gives you a great player or an aspiring great player hey guys what's up everyone welcome or welcome back to another practice session with apex selenio from the apex predator billiards training club and if this is the first time here on the channel do not forget to hit the subscribe button below turn on your post notification bell leave some positive questions and comments down below and do not forget to share this out to your pool community now in this particular practice session here i'll be working on thin well not necessarily thin but i'll be working specifically on 45 degree cut shots down the rail this is a shot that pretty much is a fear for many players it gives players grief most times they go for a bank or they go for safes in this video i'm going to be walking you through a few things related to this shot here now i have several objectives from this video that i'm working on for myself and by extension by you completing this video you will also achieve these objectives as well once you go on the practice table now here is the setup for the shot and as i as these objectives are achieved i will let you know um throughout the commentary here now what i'm doing is that i'm setting up the 45 degree cut shot here and the gestures being demonstrated there on tape is that i'm creating a square i'm creating a two by two square and so the cue ball is on one vertex of the square and the object ball is about a half a ball on the other vertex of the square and here that creates a 45 degree entry angle into the contact spot of the object ball here now the very first shot here of course the aim is to make the shot but it's of course to get a feel of the speed and if what i'm looking at is in fact a 45 degree cut so you can see there even though most of you guys would think that that's not possible to overcut well of course this video is without editing any of my mistakes i want you to see not just the consistency what i also want you to see uh the inconsistencies as well now again i missed the first shot so let's have a look at the second part beautifully potted down the rail and so of course one of the objectives of this video is to use of course automatic aiming now when i'm aiming at these shots guys if you notice that i do not use the pivot technique or the ghost ball technique i'm actually using fractional ball aiming so I definitely know that for a 45 degree cut shot, I'm going to be aiming just on the outside edge of the object ball here. And let's have a look at shot number three. Again, beautifully sliding down the rail there, not catching the rail and getting in. It's just going dead into the center of the pocket. And so what I'm aiming at is just on the outside edge of the object ball here. Again, these shots should be about a half ball you can put a quarter ball you can push yourself to the limit and putting a quarter ball off the rail making it thinner but then it's the it's going to be the same contact spot it's the speed that's going to make the pot cleaner here now you'll notice that i'm switching sides for each of my shots because not only am i training the right side of my brain but i'm also getting the left side of my brain trained as well beautiful pop there on that ball you can see the consistency in the cue ball's direction across the table so again with this aiming technique this automatic aiming technique that i'm working on here this is where you can be very confident in that am i going to scratch or am i not going to scratch and i'm going to give you several variances of what i'm doing here guys in the next upcoming videos i'll be doing a 30 degree cut and a 60 degree cut and how you can identify these sections of the object board that you're aiming at 
Now again, keep your eyes on the keep your eyes on the object ball. Notice that the cue ball is always going across the table two and a half times, always ending up somewhere in the middle of the table there. And of course, you can see that the object ball is entering into the pocket without grazing the rail. Now, once you graze the rail with pocket speed, it means that you didn't exactly hit on the outside edge of the object ball. Again, you will see the images popping up on the screen or you would have seen the images pop up at what you should be looking at when it is that you're aiming at this type of cut. Again, one unsuccessful shot. You can see the counter at the bottom there. How many times unsuccessful? Let's have a look here at the cue ball and the object ball and watch how it floats into the pocket beautifully cue ball again bouncing twice across the table and back to the center of the table now you should also be bear in mind as well that as even though we are practicing how to pot a shot you should still consider cue ball control and cue ball direction because a difficult pot to the eyes of the audience you will also find here that it's easy for you because you're confident in your training there again another beautiful execution there um on that shot again the speed control notice that the cue ball is always ending back into the middle of the table so again as i said you can use this technique here of aiming and play a tough pot and get perfect position here now again as you can see my video is running straight i'm not editing i'm not showing you my successful attempts i'm showing you both unsuccessful and successful attempts as well and again let's have a look here at the cue ball on the object ball object ball didn't touch the rail going in and again cue ball notice that it ends up anywhere near the middle left or right side of the table there all right now a, a thing that someone well i shouldn't say a thing it's one of the most subtle information about real pots like these and then of course it is that a lot of players get blindsided by the real they often are fearful of overcutting or pardon me they are always fearful of undercutting the ball so they of course aim a bit thinner and then sometimes the cue ball gets thrown away from the pocket again i'm not thinking about whether i'm going in the center of the pocket or the right side or the left side because my aiming technique here is automatic once i get down on the table i'm going to know what the 45 degree cut angle is and i'm going to know where exactly on the object ball i'm aiming so if you notice that this is a a, a a really powerful aiming technique that I believe that the pros are using there again as you can see an unsuccessful attempt there and I'm happy that you guys are able to see that during my training it is not unsuccessful I've had some days where I'm training and it literally is not going well for me I've missed pots five times in a row seven times in a row you will see as I continue to post there you're gonna see now where I have a really hard time putting this black ball here and of course this brings up a very important uh, information about the game knowing that you're the type of player that plays eight ball nine ball and ten ball you will find that most of the times your miss shots in practice oftentimes occur on the eight the ten and the nine and why exactly do i think that this happens it's not a matter of you not aiming well or you're not using the technique well i believe that there's a stigma that is attached to the eight the nine and the ten because these are the balls that we call the money ball during the game so a lot of the times we sometimes say to ourselves okay this is the last ball and it kind of triggers you know when you have that important eight and you just miss that pot by a hair or you undercut or something something strange just happens during the match and you just miss the black now again as i as you can see here i've made all my successful pots up to the eight ball here but what you're seeing now is that i'm having a lapse in concentration in my training here again missing that eight by undercutting the shot so you notice that the first time i missed it by undercutting the second time i missed it by overcutting the third i missed it by undercutting now the fourth i'm missing it again here by 
overcutting. So again, it's not a matter of me not being able to really make the pot. There you can see very successful in that pot, sliding down the rail. It did graze the rail. If you look carefully, it did graze the rail going in, but I'm glad to get rid of that black. And so as you can see, you're gonna see a change in the stigma because I was missing that black about four or five times a while ago, guys. Let me know in the comments. But now, as soon as I get down on the 11 ball here, you'll see that I get back to perfect form. Again, I don't know what's the sign with this. You can see that my cue ball control, I, I, I can see here. I thought that this was funny to leave in the video. I did have an un uninvited guest joining me in training. Um, it's one of the elders, I guess. He doesn't play pool. I don't know who he is. I think he was giving me some sort of insight. Now, I do have a really, really strange look on my face because I'm wondering what is he saying to me? What is he telling me about pool that I don't know at this point? I, I entertained him and I thought that it would be funny to show you guys that I am having a live. I, I don't want my training sessions to look or feel generic. I want you to understand that in training, this is why my channel is called Apex Predator Billiards Training because I'm in live training. I'm not making some videos or making parts and showing you how to do it. I'm showing you also that mistakes can occur during your training as well. So I do thank the elder there. Give me some insight. Maybe he gave me some luck. So let us see if we can get back to some consistency here. I'm going to be potting the, uh, I believe this is a 13 ball or it's the 11 ball. They both look alike. Beautiful pot there. Again, back to consistency here. I'm not using an aiming system, guys. I know that a few, a few of you guys have your own aiming system. I have practiced this shot almost every day of every week or every practice session i practice this shot so i've developed a feel for the potting angle i know where exactly on the object ball i should aim to get a pot in the pocket there i did miss that one by overcutting just a slight lapse in concentration during the training session guys but these things are going to happen occasionally this is why you train you're training several things in your game here cue ball control potting angle recognizing a 40 degree angle maintaining the cue ball to go twice across the table and stop in the middle of the table there you're doing a lot of things you're develop you're developing a natural intuitive uh instinct for the shot and as I said, in the next or the next few upcoming videos, I'll be doing the 30 degree cut, the 60 degree cut from anywhere across the table at the bottom half, cutting it down the rail. You will learn exactly how never to miss these shots in the future under pressure situations. Your beautiful pot there under 10 and of course here sliding down the rail beautifully now of course i have one rack so my aim is always to try to get more than 70 percent success here and let me know in the comments guys based on the counter there what is my success rate for this pot this is something that i do every single morning here let us see if you can get the final pot here beautiful pot there on the seven bringing that aspect of the training session to the end there so i'm gonna pick up another 15 balls here i'm just checking the time on the clock because i definitely don't want to bore you guys with just training i definitely want to give you a lot of insight into how i'm doing this now i was contemplating should i start a new video for this or should i just continue here of course my decision is to actually continue showing you exactly how these pots are made now again i like doing these drills more than one time so i like to shoot at least 30 balls per session i often just do 15 based on my uh because i do work in days so when i leave work i come to training a bit tired so i don't try to overdo because these shots don't come up a lot but when they do i want you guys to be absolutely prepared now what i've done here is that i've brought the object ball a diamond down and brought the cue ball a diamond across here and i'm getting what apparently seems to be a thinner cut and this is what usually happens to players the moment and that was a beautifully executed shot there sliding down the rail how is apex doing this are you using an aiming system i am absolutely not 
I'm using fractional ball aiming, which is arg arguably a aiming system. But at the moment, I recognize the potting angle of the shot here, and I know again it's a 45 degree. Again, Apex, how do you know? that's the 45 degree how do you know um how to set up the 45 degree well i'm actually aiming from one vertex of a one by one square into the other vertex or the diagonal vertex of that same one by one square and that's how i'm creating the 45 degree so the first diamond on the short reel connects with the first diamond on the long reel the middle diamond on the short reel connects with the middle diamond on the long reel, vice versa. The third diamond on the short reel connects with the third diamond um, along the long reel here. So that creates the 45. So right now I'm shooting from the vertex of a one by one square where the pocket, the first diamond and one diamond up and across from the long reel and just potting the shot. So again, it's the same point on the object ball that I'm aiming at. I'm actually aiming just on the outside edge, just here. So you'll see the image on screen here. I'm showing you where you're, what, you're, what you should be looking at. This is what you should be looking at. When you get down, if you're seeing this, then that's where you're supposed to aim in order to make the pot here. Again, missing that one, of course, you're gonna get that one miss. And this is why you train. If you can get yourself to at least a 95% success rate in training with the pressure and the mental game, it will probably break you down to about a 55, maybe a 60% success. And so, of course, that is more than half the chance that you would have actually been given to make this in a tournament setting or in a, in a game. Again, guys always welcome and embrace mistakes because these are what teaches us i did have a conversation with a gentleman and we actually had a big disagreement with embracing your mistakes embracing your loss but we're not going to be getting into that of course i just knew what i knew i knew what i've read and again as i said during training embrace the mistakes be open it's okay to miss because you're learning how not to miss guys again let us see if we can get some consistency here beautiful pot there on the six object ball is not even touching the reel going in so you can see that this automatic aiming that i'm that i'm carrying you guys through here it wasn't attained over a period of two months or one month or three months I've, I've constantly been potting object balls so once i'm on the table if i'm not playing competitive pool or i'm not playing with a high caliber player i'm on the table hitting balls always hitting balls getting a feel again i'm moving now to the is this the two by this is the three by three square now so i'm aiming here very close to this to the pocket a beautiful pot again using the whole entire opening of the pot of the pocket not grazing the wheel and you'll notice that in all my shots you can see that the object ball is entering into the pocket at the same speed in the same line the cue ball is traveling in the same path and the rest point of the cue ball is relatively the same where it goes twice across the table and stop in the middle here one two reels so that's one reel two reel two and a half coming across there so lots of consistency with this angle again this is still a 45 degree cut this is still a 45 degree cut here so i'm putting the object ball here about a half a ball off the third diamond below the side pocket and i'm aiming through the first diamond under the corner pocket from which i'm aiming there so once i'm aiming through that angle again i'm still aiming just on the outside edge of the object ball and consistently you see that the object ball is entering into the pocket and the cue ball is having the same part and having the same rest point here 
Again, you can see how close you're threading towards the side pocket. Again, a lot of players see this shot. They refuse it because they are fearful of the scratch. But once you know that once you pocket this object ball with the automatic aiming system I'm showing you and demonstrating to you and teaching you here, you'll see that again, it enters into the pocket, hits just top side, just barely, maybe like about a quarter diamond. Uh, below or actually well in this case from my angle below the side pocket you can be assured that you're not going to scratch now if you have any sort of unwanted side spin left or right depending on the cut angle you are going to scratch again guys you have to take accountability when it is that you make a pot and it scratches it is not the cue ball's fault it is actually the fault of your stroke or where you're aiming so you have to practice the hit on the vertical axis of the uh of the cue ball or else you're going to get inconsistent result again let's have a look at another uh example here i'm i think i'm not i'm not sure if i missed this one but let us just get it uh focused here guys aiming just on the outside edge of the object ball with Stone follow, if that's what you want to call it, a half a tip above center. Missing that one, just as I thought. So again, you're going to have that one miss, but check your percentage. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, I am in fact counting my success and failures as well. So you can see that I have a really high percentage, ex except when I'm shooting at the eight, the nine or the 10 ball here. But again, let us try to get this in here. Gonna be trying to pop this cleanly as well, straight into the pocket, top side, both side pockets there, and the cue ball again, entering back towards the center of the table. Now I can tell you, I can assure you, I've never, I've never gotten the feeling, well, I've gotten it in training, but not in front of an audience. When you make a pot like this, best believe I'm telling you, you're going to rip the roof of the pool hall or the pool lounge that you're in. But let's stay focused, guys. Let's stay focused on training here. I'm going to be potting this last ball here. Beautiful pot there, side reel, side reel, back to the center of the table and ending this beautiful training session here. So I do hope that you guys enjoy what you just saw there. I do hope that you uh, share this content, help players become better because I've been training for a long time. It's about five years going into my training now and it has worked for me. So I definitely want you guys to appreciate training more than uh, you already have. All right. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. We're going to be talking about 30 degree and 60 degree cut. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.